Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
It's actually quite cool this morning. It's only about 10 degrees Celsius. I came out with my shorts on. It's a mistake because I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes and uh, it's really brisk. There's the ducks. They're down there. Going to the swamp. And I know there's feed down there right now. Let's go in the barn and uh, see what kind of uh, dent uh, the ducks made in the... Uh, I put three feeders in there last night, so we'll see what they've uh, done here. Oh yeah, eggs. Let's see if there's any eggs in here. Oh, there's some ducks in here. Oh, there's a Muscovy. I'll kick you out later. Oh, you might lay eggs. That Muscovy's back in that corner. She has, she's been sitting there, no eggs. She's in, she's in brooding with no eggs. It makes no sense. One single egg. Uh, I'm going to grab that right, grab that right now because yesterday I left an egg here and the chickens broke it. My chickens are going to be chicken stew soon. Um, I haven't had a chicken egg in, uh, it's been like five weeks. Um, so I know they're laying them around the property and uh, they're, they're starting to get a problem. I, yeah, I'm feeding them and I'm getting nothing out of them. So I think I'm going to uh, have to uh, do a, uh, a chicken call. A uh, nice big batch of chicken stew. I got a 40 quart pot. I can throw all five of them in at once. Boil it up. Make a nice big chicken stew. Oh, that would be tasty. Freeze it up. Instant suppers all the time. Oh, I'm getting hungry thinking about chicken stew. It would be tasty too because these chickens, are, they're no good for roasting. Uh, because they're so old, they're just really tough. But for stew, oh, the taste. Um, we did some once before. And I can't believe the taste. They're, uh, ho holy mackerel, I can't believe the food they ate last night. Okay, this is crazy. You guys are pigs. Look at this. Okay, so that feeder is almost empty. That feeder is empty. Well, actually, those two are empty. And that one is pretty close to being empty. A lot cleaner in here now. There's no water in here. Yeah, I came in last night. I didn't bring the camera down last night, but it was just uh, the floor was a living floor of ducks. It was like that. Actually, that's what the whole floor looked like last night. They were just all different ages piled on top of each other. That's what I go with ducks. You know, uh, you can mix the different ages together, and uh, unless you got mature drakes, you know, mature drakes, all they want to do is rape the young ones. But uh, if you don't have mature drakes, they, this is what you can just mix the different ages together, and everybody gets along. It's really neat. Nothing like chickens. All right, I gotta go grab a bag of feed. Well, so far it's not raining. I'm, I've been inside, uh, actually I had my breakfast and did a bunch of uh, editing for you guys on yesterday's episode. And I uh, looked out and the ducks are all back here. Well, not all, a lot of them are back. And the Muscovies, you know, they, they don't please. They're just, I don't know, these ducks. I don't get them, but I've got to lock the pen up and kick everybody out of the pen because they're going in there cleaning up. And I think they came back because the feed uh, down at the uh, swamp is empty. It's only about 10 o'clock right now. So I'm going to take a bag of feed down and uh, I'm just looking here. Uh, yeah, there's, oh, they're all around the hedge. Crazy ducks. Well, there's so much mud still, you know, the amount of rain we had here, uh, the mud is, uh, it's everywhere. It's, it's. We're, this year is unbelievably wet. It, uh, yep, well, look at that. They're all around the pen, around the hedge here. They went down there, unless they cleaned out the, the feeder down there, the sled this morning. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a couple hundred ducks down here. I don't know if there's uh, anybody over at the, uh, oh, there's some silly, I gotta kick those guys out of there. Oh, ducks. You guys, you need to get out. Go where I'm coming and I'll kick you out shortly. Oh, oh man. I love ducks. Look at that goose though. Man, I'm, I'm, I wish we had a whole bunch of those guys. But I know oh, six of them, that'll be enough over the winter. I think it's six or seven. They're going to be... Uh, the barn's going to be uh, full this year. Actually, I think this year I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to only, have, I'm gonna only keep about 40 breeders. Yeah, there's, look at that, that's all that's down there. So I'm gonna go get a bag of feed and take it down there. And I'm gonna try to get a better uh, film for you today, guys. I'm, um, I'm gonna throw the pivot heads on and 
I'll see if I get some better footage. That last one with the bag in the way, that was, it sucked. So, I'll, uh, yeah, I, I put, uh, I dug, oh yeah, that's something I want to show Alan. Here, I uh, dug the, I dug a trench so that this hole will drain. I put a rock there so that the, the water won't uh, 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 go down and uh, keep digging a hole so it, it dries right out now. So there's uh, no more water down here except down there, you know, which they keep drilling down there. So, uh, but that's swamp. Trying to get as much moisture to go down in the swamp and out of the yard, so that way they're not uh, down here. So, oh man, I wish I could catch Goose Lee. I'm uh, maybe I might have luck here. My buddy comes over. Uh, the problem is, if I tape him up, I don't know how I'm going to catch him again. Untape him. That's the, the the problem with this angel wing thing. It's uh, it's just a shame. But his parents, both his parents, um, when I you know when I discovered this duck or this geese or uh, goose, I should say. Uh, both his parents had angel wing, so I don't know. Uh, they say it can be a genetic thing, uh, you know, which I think it is. Uh, but it is the, the everything I read is the left wing, and this is the left wing. So I don't know. And it could, you know, this year is the first year like I've ever gotten angel wing. I've got some ducks with it. I got one goose. I think I've got about uh, maybe four or five ducks that got it this year. So I don't know. I'm really mad that uh, Goose Lee has it, but the thing is, is that, you know, I, I'd almost have to have a separate pen for him, you know, so that I could, you know, one guy got to catch him, then I got to tape him up, then I got to keep him in a separate pen, and, and, you know, we're running out of pen space here, and uh, I've got a lot of work. Actually, today I'm setting up uh, the new uh, uh, cover for them in here, and I got a bunch of run, run, uh, rearranging to do, and and I got to get ready. I got to set up a, um, a funnel system. That uh, that I can funnel the flock into to uh, catch them to uh, tag them because I I thought about tagging the younger ones but the problem is is that uh, you know I don't like tagging young ducks uh, because you don't know how much they're going to grow um, and the aluminum tags uh, you know like doing these guys now like their legs are pretty well that's as thick as they're going to get their leg wise they might get a little bit thicker but you can put aluminum tag on that leg and lots loose and it's not going to cause any problems. Will you put it on a duck a month younger than that? It's like, one, if you put it on too loose, it's just going to fall off. And they do fall off because they, you know, they, they're, they're, sometimes they put their feet uh, together. Uh, they put the, close their toes together on their web and thumbs, things fall off. So, and if you put it, you know, not loose enough, uh, and then the duck grows, next thing you know, it cuts the circulation off to their foot. And then you got ducks with their feet falling off. Uh, and disease and infections and uh, I don't want to go through that so you know it'd be a lot easier doing uh, you know the the 170 ducks that are in there the younger ones right now I could do them by myself actually wouldn't be a big deal but unfortunately I've got to do the 330 that are out floating around the yard right now um, and that's a two-person job so I've got to set up a funnel system first and uh, get a table set up and I, it's going to be a, an ordeal it's going to be a, a big event not a lot of recording that day <laughs> Because, uh, one, I know I'm going to get covered in duck poop. Uh, and two, handling camera with duck poop all over myself is not my fave. It just means that, you know, i got to figure out how to wash the camera, and that's not possible. So, so I'm going to go get the feed, and uh, we'll take it down to the swamp. And we'll see what the ducks are, are, are doing down there. All right, people. i got the uh, bag on my head. A little better position today so that it doesn't uh, block the uh, total view of the filming here. I was just in the uh, the duck pen, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure this morning I did a complete walk around looking for eggs, and I just found a dead, ruined female adult. Now, it looks like her vagina is very puffed up, so I don't know if she was getting raped, but... Oh, look at this. The ducks are... I don't know if you can see this. Actually, I'll try to tilt here so the glass is... I don't know. You know it's not working here. I don't want to lose the bag. I got it on my head here. Perfect. Um, they're, they're going down here. I guess they uh, know that I'm coming down with food. On ducks, it's feed time at the swamp. Yeah, so we got a dead, ruined female. I'll take you, I'll go in the pen later and we'll take a look. Oh, losing a little bit of feet there. 
Tell you, this is a, a serious neck muscle workout. And I, it feels like there's a lot more than 80 pounds. Look at the mud. And the ducks are just destroying everything. It's, uh, oh, we got some guys down here sunning themselves. Hey, Dougies. I tell you, you know, this is a, a really good workout. But you know what? I, I just learned something. Don't do this after breakfast. It's actually better on an empty stomach. Because uh, I had a breakfast here and I, it's not uh, agreeing with this ex exertion right now. The trick is every second step you take, you sink. And plus, like yesterday, the bulrushes, all oh, the feed, there's actually lots of feed down here. The bulrushes yesterday were floating, and today they're a little more stable. All right, ducks, don't freak out, relax. That's just bizarre that we, uh, I'll come down in a couple hours, let them uh, finish that off first. It's strange that they, uh, you know, they're down in the yard. Come on, Doug. Doug, come. All right, we're going to get around these guys so they don't come back, which they probably will. Oh, that's a good workout. Whew. Really feel it in your neck and your shoulders. That's one thing about the duck adventure. It's like living at the gym. All right, let's go check out the pen. You know, this is one thing about the ducks, you know, because there's right now, the, you know, the creeks are all full of water. They're hanging around the yard. They won't stay at the swamp, even though that's where the food is. And uh, there's no food here in the yard, except they want to graze. Doug and I just tried getting them to the swamp and uh, they just refused. They broke off and came up in the yard and I said, oh, the hell with it. We'll just let them, uh, that's what they want to do. Sooner or later, they're going to get hungry and they go down. The pen's closed up and... Well, let's go in and take a look at uh, the dead duck here. I gotta, gotta, I gotta dig a hole in the compost pile, and I don't, I don't get this. This is, uh, this is now. I'm trying to think here. It's like I don't know our third or fourth duck, but this is like this duck here. I, I got a hunch this is the rape victim from this winter, because she's got two tags on her. Um, she's got two tags. On her legs, so that tells me that she. Uh, that, I think that's the one from this winter. Actually, that's blind duck. That's that's Stevie Wonder Duck. That's right. But she, I know, like, and she's got eyes. You can see the eyes. But she's, uh, but her her uh, vagina is seriously swollen up. Uh, I'll just give you a shot, Doug. Stop it. I don't know if we can get a shot here. It's seriously swollen up. Uh, like, I'll give you a close up there. <laughs> That's pretty gross out this close. But she's been, uh, I think she was raped multiple times. It's the only thing, but I'm trying to think what is raping. Uh, you know, the ducks here, it's, well, I gotta go bury her. What a waste of a duck. Yeah, I hate this, you know, it's like, at least if you kill them yourself, you can, you know, at an old duck like this, you can make duck burger out of it, but, you know. All right, I'm gonna go bury this girl. Now look at this, Doug. He uh, he's very curious on what's going on here. But you know, where Rocco, <laughs> just to give you an idea, Rocco, my any of my other dogs I used to have would have just started ripping at this and trying to eat it right out of my hand. Doug's not interested in doing that to ducks. Ducks. I don't know what it is, but he uh, he won't even eat. Like I told you before, he won't eat raw duck meat either. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if my ducks are mentally handicapped or what, but uh, you know, summer down at the lake, uh, you know, there's a whole group here laying in the shade, which, well, and plus we got the Muscovies here. You know, these lazy pigs. I'm starting to wonder about these guys. Um, it's like, I, I don't understand this. I don't understand these ducks. You know, they're slowly going to the lake. 
down there. Um, you know, these, yeah, these are, this looks like juveniles. You guys juveniles or adults? Yeah, the juveniles. Oh, there's some adults in here. Oh, these are adult ducks. And the adult ducks don't want to go to the lake. Oh, the geese. Man, those geese are big. I, you don't realize it until you start seeing them you know, walking with the ducks now. They're massive. They're like they're they they tower above the ducks. I love seeing them. I wish we had like 40 or 50 of them. Unfortunately, didn't work out that way this year. Oh, there's poor Mrs. Kim. But, you know, they're sleeping under the head. Yes, ducks. Oh, you know, you're missing out on a lot of fun down there. Plus, there's food down at the lake. Uh, some of the ducks are going down and you know the geese are already headed down. Duck! Duck back! Don't get in front of the ducks, you'll screw them all up. Yeah, they're starting to head down. I guess I realize the feed's down there. I'm gonna actually go down there with the uh, my, my rubber boots on and, and just check the feed situation. Doug is going down. He's taking him down. Of course, Doug likes playing in the water. He goes down there just to play in the creek. He disappears on me, and he's down there uh, playing in the water. It's it's bizarre. I wish I could catch it on camera. It's it's so neat to see because all the ducks are in the water, and there's Doug in the water with them. And uh, you know, it's uh, they let him they let him get about uh, you know about two feet, three feet um, uh, near him, and then you know, the ducks start moving. But but if I'm down there, the ducks just completely stay away from Doug. It's bizarre. But when he's with them alone, it's, uh, you know, they just sort of put up with them in the water. But, but like, look at these lazy ducks. Like, you know, they're, you know, this is like last year, you know, when the ducks, when they just hung around the, uh, the cedar hedge out front. But that was out front. Uh, you know, this is down in the lake area. Uh, there's a whole whack of them behind uh, the uh, uh, hedge here. Let's go around. There's a mixture of adults and you know this. Go around here and see what the deal is. Yeah, look at them all. I don't get it. I just don't understand. You know, there's there's food down there and you know there's unlimited water. You know and. Unless it's the wildlife, you know, unless it's the, you know, there's, uh, you know, the wild ducks, the loons, and the blue herring that's down there, I don't know. It's the only thing that makes any sense is that, the, you know, they're just chickens. That's it. Bottom line. Uh, you know, and anything wild, uh, you know, they're just a you know, little apprehensive over, I don't know. But they're just... It's bizarre. All right, well, I know what I got to do. I'm going to start working in the pen here and uh, getting some cover for them because pretty soon we're going to introduce those other 200 ducks to the, the horde here and we gotta make sure there's some cover for them and go take care of my ducks i'm making uh doug stay behind me right now because he's uh he's getting uh, i don't know what it is with the scobies he gets really excited and, and i might have to yell at him again here becomes barreling down the swamp because he's uh i don't know if it's because they move so slow like if you look how slow these guys are moving, it's just ridiculous. They're like herding rocks, man. And there's still, I think, two back at the yard. I hear dog. Dog, I told you to stay. <sighs> dog. Well, he lasted about 100 feet. Come on, ducks. God, these guys are slow. Come on, ducks. I'm almost tempted in, in catching them and taking them down to the dock and just throwing them in the water. I'm getting so frustrated with the Muscovy. Uh, they keep hanging around the exact same spot underneath the clothesline stand. And it, it, the amount of oh, the, the, the feces there is getting out of hand. I'm sick of rinsing it down. You guys got to go to the lake and be a duck. On Mo, lead the pack here. Colby walks faster than you.
All right, come on guys, we're almost there. Come on, there's food down here. There's like lots of water. Like, oh look at them, they're running, they're coming back like a bat out of hell. They're unbelievable. I don't get these ducks. Come on guys, into the water. Doug's over there, he's, uh, oh, Dougie. Hey, all he listens, like I said, for about 100 feet. Come on, Mo, let's go. It's gotta be the vegetation. There's just too much vegetation here for them to drill out. Come on, little Muscovies. Come on, duck, let's go. Come on, it's pretty bad when you gotta push a duck's bum to get them to move. Duck, back, duck, back. Come on, back. Come on, Muscovies. This is just ridiculous. Duck back, back. Okay, the Muscovies won't even go in the water. Look at this. Come on, guys. I think if it wasn't for Doug, keep playing in the water over there, the uh, the ducks would all head back to the house. This is just so ridiculous. Right. It's pretty bad that we gotta be the uh, water Nazis down here. That's the way to do it, Doug. Walk up the creek. <laughs> oh man, these guys are ridiculous. Doug, back! Doug, back! See, the Muscovies don't even care about Doug. Doug, back! Doug, back! 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 
Doug, back! Come on, you're getting in front of the Muscovy, sir. Doug, back! Back! Come here, Doug. Oh, you're doing pretty good. Look at this, they keep coming. Oh, man, these ducks. Come on, ducks, let's go! Let's go, everybody! Let's go! Let's go! Doug, back! Doug, back! <coughs> Doug, back! Stop getting in front of the Muscovies! Doug, back! They just will not go out to the lake. I'm tempted to go swimming with you guys. Do you believe this, people? I am blown away by how hard this is. Doug back. All right, let's go. Doug back. Doug. Doug back. Quick, Doug. Back. This is crazy. I do not believe what we're going through here. Doug, back. Doug, back. Doug, back. They do not want to go to the lake. This is just stupid. If I can just get them through this narrow, I'd actually I'd walk out with them. Get Doug to go up the creek and I can go up the side. Alright, let's go ducks. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, get in the water. Okay, Doug, come on. Let's get these guys out. Doug, back! Doug, back! Doug, back! Back! Stay back! Right! Right! Doug, right! Okay, we got it. They're, flo they're flowing out now, finally. Doug, back, 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 Doug, Doug, back. <coughs> All right, we got something happening here. Doug, back, Doug, back. Okay, more, that's uh, better. They're out near the uh, mouth of the creek here. If we can just get more to go out. You just get them out of this area, and then I can get Doug to go up the creek. Come on, Muscovies. You would be the last ones, wouldn't you? You're really making me mad. I'm going to make you all into burger if you don't get your act together. And believe me, you guys taste great. Doug, leave hydration duck alone. Come on. Doug, come. Oh, okay.
That was nasty. Oh man. <laughs> Thank you, I didn't do a face plant with the glasses on. All right, I'm completely soaked. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> Look at this. Oh man. <laughs> oh. oh, it stinks real good too. Doug. I just want to hope you guys appreciate what I just did. I'll give you a shot. I'm totally soaked. Went right to my chest. Oh, and ducks. I got the Muscovies yet, Doug. All right. Let's go, Muscovies. Oh, that was. Uh, I didn't need that. I'm gonna have to have a hose off with the hose here. Oh, and ducks. Don't get any ideas there, Muscovies. We're missing some. I guess either they went out with the group or. Ah, oh, Mo. Get in there. On. Come on, you guys are the lake birds. Look at that. Now the Muscovies are finally heading out. <laughs> Doug, <laughs> he's doing his job. Look at that, he's walking up the creek. I don't know if the pivot heads are picking this up very good. Come on, Doug! <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh, you silly dog. You dare me to jump on top of a duck? Doug, back! Doug! Doug! Back! Doug! Come on! Come! Doug, come! Doug, come! Come here! Come here! Oh, yes. You did pretty good, except you got a little excited. Oh, Dougie, this is exactly where I fell in. <laughs> well, both of us are dirty. The ducks are out there. Unbelievable what we just went through. Oh, we got a seagull flying in. Big seagull just flew in there. I don't know, he's trying to spook the ducks. He's not going to be picking on one of those guys. They're way too big. Actually, it looks like he's landing in with the ducks. Doug's dead. He's, uh, he's going to force them right out. Look at that dog go. He's making sure the ducks go right out. Oh, we definitely got a big seagull there. He's flying in, swooping the ducks. I don't know if you can see it there in the footage. I don't know if he thinks he's going to pick up a duck. Yeah, it's definitely a seagull. Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, there's Doug swimming with the ducks. Uh, what a dog. He's swimming behind a Muscovy. That seagull's freaking the ducks right out. Oh, there's Doug right behind the Muscovy. Look at that. All you can see is his head. It actually blends in almost with the bulrushes. Doug! Oh, the Muscovy dove underneath. Come on, Doug! <laughs> Come here! Doug! Doug! Come! Let's go! Alright, I'm standing on that little floating island in the middle of the creek here, and I figured I'm soaking wet as it is, and the ducks were coming back, so Doug went in the water, and he's swimming up behind the ducks. What a dog. Seagull seems to have uh, gone away, or it's gone somewhere, I don't know. Maybe there's a nest up there, but you know, it's too late for a nest because I've already shot one of its babies. I don't know, it was coming into my yard, trying to get a duckling. Oh no, there he is again. I think that's what's causing the ducks to be stressed out, is that thing right there.
Yeah. Oh, look at that. He just tried to dive bomb me. There's some poop. I don't know if you saw that. One of their favorite tricks. Screw off, Mr. Seagull. The ducks keep wanting to come back. Do your job, Doug. Keep them out there. <laughs> Just look at them testing Doug. Doug, they're getting back, back. Get in the water there, Dougie. Head them off. What a dog. Amphibious vehicle. Yeah, just to be that agile, eh? It's, uh, us humans, we're, we're, we have nothing on four-legged creatures. Doug, back! Yeah, they're gonna swim right by me. On ducks, go on. Oh, go, 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 go. Panic, panic, up the creek. This is ridiculous. I do not believe how they just keep wanting to come back. And you can see like they're playing in the water and they're cleaning themselves, but yet they want to come back. Doug doesn't want to come back. <laughs> He's loving it. <laughs> Just look at him swim with the ducks. Oh, Doug. <laughs> that's too funny. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Duck back. Skittles just found me. They're hiding the bulrushes and Doug is making them come out. This is actually better than the canoe. <laughs> He's doing such a good job. Oh, they're trying to come back again. Okay, looks like they've slipped by Doug. Oh no, Doug's to the left. Okay, they're all trying to come back. Unbelievable. Must be a 
duck across the creek there where Doug's looking. Okay, we got a panic. They're coming back again. Doug! Doug! Left! Yeah, there was a duck there. Come on, Doug! Don't let them by. This is crazy. Look at them all coming back. Doug, Doug, back. Oh, they're getting by. Look at this. Look at this for a stream of ducks. Okay, Doug, Doug, relax. Relax. They don't want to be out there. Just look at this. This is faster than the morning rush. Just look how fast this is. Ah, man, oh man, these guys are thick. Well, I tried. And Doug and I, we both tried hard. Oh, look at that. He's trying to stop them. <laughs> look at that. He won't let them by. <laughs> Too funny. And ducks, he can move better than I can. The only thing that makes any sense is the seagull. Doug, right! Look at them. They're challenging me to go back. Well, people, do you believe that? That's the, you know, the whole thing here. We try to get them out and they just came back. Well, I'm gonna get the feed done here and I'm gonna go and work on their pen. Well, Doug and I just got back from the lake, and uh, we got a, that seagull is a problem. It killed the duck. I, 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 I never heard of seagulls doing that. I've always, uh, you know, they, they're little tiny babies, uh, you know, uh, eating dead stuff. You know, that's uh, been basically all I've ever heard of, uh, you know, seagulls doing. But uh, there was a brand, like I'm talking, absolutely freshly killed, uh, you know, drowned. I don't know what. Uh, little ruin. Um, um, uh, juvenile. Um, Some told me to go down there. I went down there with the hedge trimmers just to trim the bulrushes back on the creek, and uh, I couldn't believe it. I got down there, and, and right where the ducks were, you know, that seagull was flying over top of the ducks. Uh, it was exactly the spot where the dead duck was, and it, it had no rigor, so it was just killed, and it was really warm. So, and like it was fresh. It was a fresh kill. So I've got to hunt a uh, that that big seagull, and it was a big one too. It wasn't a small. I don't know how it showed up in the pivot heads, but it wasn't a, a juvenile uh, seagull. It was a full-grown big one. So I, I don't know. Maybe it, it landed on his back, you know, was pecking at it, or it had to, you know, 
Uh, there was a lot of peck marks to its head, um, and the, the bill, uh, it looked like it had a, a break in it, so I don't know. Um, but it's just sort of, you know, it's, we, you know, we were out there trying to get the ducks to go out. The ducks, you know, wanted to come back really, really bad. And then, uh, you know, I go out there and there's a brand new, fresh, uh, dead duck. And, you know, and there was that big seagull who kept, you know, coming down because uh, kept swooping down. So, unfortunately, you know, uh, it didn't reappear. And, of course, you know, I was in the canoe. I took the shotgun. I said, I'm going to take the shotgun. Some just told me to take the shotgun. And uh, no sign of the seagull. So, uh, I think we got a, a, a murdering seagull here. But all the ducks came back. Everybody came back, except there was one group when I was out in the canoe. Uh, they were on the other side of, uh, uh, right around the bend in the, when you come out of the, uh, the creek, mouth of the creek onto the lake to the left, they were into another little inlet. Uh, actually, the inlet that takes the ducks back to the spot that they were last year uh, hiding. So there was about, I don't know, there was about 40, 45 ducks that were back there. They're up there, they're up there on the lake right now. Uh, but these guys all came back. Everybody came back. So I don't know. I uh, I think that seagull is a problem. I think the seagull was causing, uh, you know, that's why the ducks wouldn't stay. You know, for Doug and I to, uh, you know, successfully get them that far out, like we had everybody out onto the lake, uh, right at the mouth of the creek there. Like it didn't make any sense. So, and now they're all hanging around here. You know, they're all staying. And, and Bruce Lee's actually letting me get quite close here. I know, Goose. I wish I could catch you to do your wing, but unfortunately, not possible. So that's the deal. So we got a murdering seagull that, uh, you know, has got to go. And it was a fresh kill. Absolutely fresh, fresh. So I'm going to work on the uh, the pen now. I got, uh, like I said, I'm doing the shelter thing uh, that I'm doing for the uh, the ducks. Uh, because my buddy, uh, we're gonna get together this week and we're gonna tag all these ducks, so Because I gotta get these guys out. So I gotta get to work Well, as we know the ducks came back uh, from the swamp there after the seagull uh, harassment, but I uh, <laughs> I, I'm not, I haven't fed them. I, well, I, I haven't put any feed in the uh, the feeders yet or or open the gate to the pen But I just want to show you they've all given up. It's about right now. Uh, it's about quarter to six and <laughs> They've uh, circled the pen countless times but now they've given up and they're heading back to the swamp where there's feed and water. So they came up here, hung around all afternoon, figured, okay, well, we'll uh, wait. And they couldn't wait. Their bellies uh, told them. Now, these ones here are hanging on pretty good. And actually, uh, the Muscovy females, uh, four of them are down in the swamp and only four came back, which is sort of bizarre. But sort of played a little game on them. I didn't get a lot done today. I was getting everything ready to, to do this uh, uh, this uh, 32 foot long or 35 foot long uh, 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 cover for them. So they've got a place to go. I've been getting everything ready and it, everything takes longer when you're by yourself. So, And plus I've had to do some, I had to do, oh, can't even talk here. I had to do some figuring on how I'm gonna make a shoot and I, I did that, figured that out. So when my buddy comes over uh, to give me a hand to tag all of these, uh, I'll be ready for them. And, and hopefully we can tag 300 ducks really fast. I'm hoping. Uh, like I said, I, I, it's easier to do the little ones, but uh, they grow and then you got leg problems. We don't want to go there, so. It's sort of funny they're heading back to the swamp. I just opened the gate. Like not even 90 seconds I've opened the gate and uh, the rush has started. They're all quacking, giving them the food sound. But tonight it's just green, uh, it's not a uh, pellet, so they're going to be upset. Yeah, more and more are coming. There's a whole bunch down at the swamp, but there's like a sleigh of green uh, down there, so the plastic sled's full of green. Yeah, more and more ducks are waking up. Well, oh, that was a, he's got a bit of a sprint going on.
I don't know where he's going. They're not going to a feeder. Oh, they're going inside. Oh, I think they, they probably think there's food inside. But I haven't put food inside in uh, about four or five days, so the joke's on them. Ducks aren't known to be that smart. Just like the ones that are right now sitting there. They're standing on the other side of the wire. Alright, well, I'm gonna go cook my supper now. Because I'm really hungry. <laughs>